Welcome to Spokane. The weather's perfect. Flowers are in bloom. There's no traffic and parking is great. And now let's welcome Jody Allen, chair of the regional convention and your events coordinator. Welcome everyone to the Region 13 2021 Virtual Convention. I know we were all hoping to be live this year, but there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. A big thank you to everyone who helped put the convention together. The convention team, members of the regional management team, resource staff, and our tech, Jay Nordling. We have some great events planned for you this weekend. Starting tonight with the Thursday night kickoff. Then tomorrow evening, Friday, at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, is the Virtual Quartet Parade, which includes our special guest, the Young Women in Harmony video. Then Saturday morning, we start off with a motivational speaker presentation at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, followed by the education class at noon. And then last but not least, the Chorus Parade at 1 p.m which will include our special guest, the Region 13 Virtual Chorus. Both parades will be hosted by MCs this year. And after each parade, you will have the opportunity to vote for your favorite performance on the Region 13 website link at sairegion13.org. You will have till 1 p.m. the next day following each parade to cast your vote. The winners will then be announced on the website and on Facebook. The virtual convention will also be available to view after this weekend. So sit back, relax, and enjoy.
the International Board of Directors functions as the governing and decision-making body of this organization. It has the authority to spearhead all actions necessary to fulfill its purpose. Region 13 is fortunate to have two representatives serving on the current Board of Directors. Janice McKenna from Pacific Sound Chorus in the second row far left and Paula Davis from Song of Seattle Chorus to the right of Janice bring the very best of Region 13 to the International Board. Region 13 has a number of members who serve on international committees. They include Paula Davis, Moderator of International Judge Specialists and Chair of the International Nominating Committee. Janice McKenna serves on the Finance and Philanthropy Committees. Beth Smith is a National Judge Specialist in the Sound category. Deborah Angst from Song of Seattle Chorus serves on the Membership Retention Committee. Nancy Kurth from Pride of Portland and Northwest Harmony Choruses serves on the Philanthropy Committee. Chris Connerty from Spirit of Spokane Chorus is a member of the Published Music Sales and Marketability Committee. Joe Saline is a Chapter at Large member who serves on the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Council. Sue Beck from Voices Northwest Chorus and Beth Smith from Pacific Sound Chorus serve on the International History and Archival Task Force. Its mission is to collect and organize a wide variety of memories to include in a book celebrating Sweet Adeline's 75th anniversary. Paula Davis serves on the Leadership Certification Program Task Force. This group is working to develop a leadership development certification program that will be available to all members of Sweet Adeline's International. Memories last forever in this sisterhood of song. Our love for music brought us here, and our friendships linger on and on. So thank you for your gift of love into our hearts you came. We know our lives will never be the same. Not the same. Sweet Adeline. Sweet Adeline. My Adeline. My love for you. For you will always shine, shine, shine. In all my dreams. We are blessed in Region 13 to have royalty among us, our Queens of Harmony. From the 1962 International Quartet Champions, the Sea Adelines, singing bass, Zoe Thompson. From the 1965 Queens, 
the Shalimars, baritone Anita Gould, who we just lost. From the 2001 International Champions Acapella Gold, our bass, Susan Kegley. From the 2013 Queens of Harmony, Touche, and in Speed of Sound, bass, Kim Chadwick. And our 2017 Queens of Harmony and most entertaining quartet, Frenzy. Melissa Pope, tenor, Nikki Blackmer, lead, and Downton Baritone, Judy Posgay, bass. Last fall, a challenge was issued to all Region 13 choruses that retained their current membership or grew their membership from September 1st, 2020 to January 31st, 2021, using member numbers from the SAI website. It included $75 to each chorus that met the challenge. It is my pleasure to announce that the following choruses met or exceeded that challenge. Next, we have our chorus roll call. Although we can't be together in person, we can see each other during this time. Be sure and wave to your friends as they pass by.
This year, Region 13 has four choruses celebrating birthdays. It's my pleasure to announce that Alaska Sound Celebration Chorus is celebrating 55 years. Five Valley Chorus is celebrating 50 years. Coeur d'Alene Chorus is celebrating 35 years. And Song of Seattle is celebrating five years. Congratulations to these choruses for their longevity in an awesome organization. We are fortunate to have such a talented regional faculty. They give tirelessly of their time and expertise to help Region 13 choruses and members. You will find them teaching classes on a wide range of topics in the areas of vocal production, visual performance, music, and administration. You will also find them coaching choruses, quartets, and individuals. Thanks to our seven master faculty who are well-rounded in all of these areas, they bring deep experience in classroom teaching and coaching, and they provide a leadership role among our regional faculty. Also, thanks to our 19 specialist faculty, each one of them brings deep knowledge in one specific area of expertise. Collectively, these 26 regional faculty donate many hours to bring coaching and teaching to our region's choruses and members. Many, many thanks to our regional faculty for their service. Greetings, Region 13. My name is Janice Wheeler. I'm the coordinator for the Tag Writing Contest, co-sponsored by Region 13 and HCNW. The purpose of the Tag Writing Contest is to encourage barbershoppers of Region 13, Evergreen District, and HCNW to get involved with writing and arranging tags for men's, women's, and mixed voices, and then freely sharing those tags with fellow barbershops for singing and performing. The cash prizes for the third tag writing contest winning tags, along with two registration fee scholarships to the Arrangers Workshop are provided by Region 13. Entry deadline for this year's contest was January 31st, 2021. A total of 10 tags were entered into six categories by five tag writers. Judge Kevin Keller has completed his deliberations and the winning tag writers have been notified by email. They will receive their cash prizes by U.S. mail. As coordinator of the tag writing contest, it is my pleasure to announce the award winners for their, the 2020-21 tag writing contest. This year's winning tag writers and their tags by category are Category 1 for Women's Voices by a published composer-arranger goes to Carol Lord for her tag, There's No Place Like Home. Category 2 for Women's Voices by an unpublished composer-arranger goes to Chris Connerty for her tag, On Wings of Music We Fly. Category 3 for Men's Voices by a published arranger composer goes to Susie Burer for her tag, Take Heart. Category four for men's voices by an unpublished composer arranger goes to Darwin Scheel for his tag, How Dry I Am. Category five for mixed voices by a published composer goes to Susie Burer for Zoo Train, and Category 6 for Mixed Voices by an unpublished composer-arranger goes to Darwin Scheel for his tag, Ice Cold. Each non-grand prize winning category winner receives a cash prize of $50, and the category winner judged to be the best overall tag is declared the grand prize winner and receives a cash prize of $200 and a registration fee scholarship to the 2022 Region 13 Arrangers Workshop at HCNW. The grand prize winner for the 2020-21 Tag Writing Contest is
Chris Connerty for her tag on Wings of Music We Fly. Congratulations, Chris. I, under I understand that tomorrow evening, Snapshot Quartet will perform this year's grand prize winning tag on Wings of Music We Fly during the Quartet Parade that begins at 6.30 p.m. All of the non-grand prize winning entrants were included in the drawing for a registration fee scholarship to the 2022 Region 13 Arrangers Workshop at HCNW. The name drawn is Darwin Scheel. The award-winning tags of the 2020 to 2021 Tag Writing Contest will soon be published at both the HCNW and Region 13 websites. Barber shoppers will be able to download and print them from there. We're looking forward to even more tag writers entering the contest next year. Stay tuned for the details about the 2021-2022 Tag Writing Contest. They will soon be available at both the Region 13 and HCNW websites. Thank you all for coming today. This is great that we have our four candidates with us. We got some of the RNP with us. That's great. Some of the uh, previous candidates are with us. Some of the previous winners are with us. Uh, Heart of the Northwest is an award that the regional management team gives each year to a Region 13 member who displays enthusiasm, commitment, and exemplifies all that is a sweet Adeline. Chapters or individuals nominate members for this award. The final decision is made by the membership coordinator, along with the last four winners of the award based on a review of the candidates submitted. All candidates along with the award recipient will be posted on the regional website. I'd like to introduce Sue Beck, the 2018 award recipient to announce the candidates and the winner of the 2021 award. And here I am, one and all. Um, it is indeed an honor for me to be able to do this. I really appreciate it. Uh, the only reason that I'm doing it is that Charlene is not available. So um, she, she, the chorus gave her a new iPad, however. So if she pops in sometime during this, that would be awesome. But I'm not sure if she's got it set up yet. So we'll go along without her. You know, one of the things I really love about this organization that we are is that we are worldwide. We, we can move virtually anywhere in the world and we're gonna find another group of women who do what we do and love what we love to do. And they're gonna welcome us in with open arms. Uh, therefore, it is with great pleasure that I tell you that all four of the candidates that have been nominated for the uh, Heart of the Northwest Award have lived in different regions, sung with different choruses and some are dual members even now. So I'm gonna take a minute just to review some of the wonderful things that were said about them. I won't take a lot of time because I know your hearts are pounding and you're waiting with bated breath, or as I used to say, worms on my tongue. Anyway, um, the, I'm gonna go by alphabetical order. Judy Beckman began her barbershop hobby back in 1954, which of course was before any of us was born. Kidding, Judy, kidding, kidding, kidding. She sang in the seventh grade with a quartet and they stayed together for six years. Can you believe that? Um, th she was back in Region 6 then, which is North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, one chorus in Iowa that I could find, and Canada. one chorus in Ont Ontario, which was Thunder Bay. Oh, my door is flying open, um, which was Thunder Bay, which I've actually been to, just as, a, as an aside. She also directed the Lakeside Harmony Chorus when she was in Region 6 in the 90s, and then she re relocated yay, to the Great Pacific Northwest in 2005 and joined Harmony on the Gorge Chorus, formerly known as the Hood River Chorus, Hood River, Hood River Valley, sorry. And then she joined Pride of Portland in 2006, so she has a, a dual membership. I think you still do, don't you, don't you, Judy? Okay. So here's what was said about Judy. This is amazing stuff. Judy embodies the spirit of Sweet Adeline's everywhere she goes. This lifelong hobby has given her so much joy for 67 years. Oh my gosh. Judy has sung in quartets and choruses with incredible enthusiasm and commitment to sharing harmony worldwide. She's become not only the voice, but the face of Sweet Adeline's in the Columbia River Gorge. 
she's regularly on morning radio talk shows and she's in the area and representing Harmony of the Gorge Chorus and various chambers of commerce meetings and in communities. And she seldom misses opportunities to share her love of barbershop harmony wherever she goes, whether it be in a bank or a coffee shop or a grocery store or whatever. Back in Region 24, when it was in existence, Judy was involved in a series of membership and marketing videos that Region 24 made. She doesn't hesitate to share her talents, her knowledge, her time and energy with everyone around her and does so with, re with disregard for any kind of recognition. That's not what this is about to Judy. It's all about giving out. Uh, let me see, I lost my place. Uh, we can't forget Judy's fun-loving and hilarious sense of humor. And I wanna know about Helga. <laughs> because I don't know about Helga. So we'll, we'll give you a moment to tell us about Helga. <laughs> Can, uh, Judy is on a lifelong quest of learning and sharing the beauty of music. And we are all the lucky recipients of her on this journey. Yay, Judy, you're awesome. We're so glad you moved to the great Pacific Northwest. Can you give us a brief summary of Helga? Uh, Helga would be my alter ego. And yes. She has a little bit of an accent, you know, that comes from Minnesota. Minnesota. But yep. she's very much in demand for things like uh, installation services and stuff. You know, she gets awesome. things fixed up a little bit. But awesome. Makes me think of uh, Melanie Rowe, who who <laughs> could do a Fargo accent like nobody I know. So <laughs> I will think of her. And it's appropriate that she be here with us today, too. Okay, Paula Davis. Holy cow, you've been in for 36 years? Good grief. 37 now. Oh, oh, I know how fast those go. Uh, she's lived and sung in courses in Texas and Colorado as well as Washington. She moved to Washington more than five years ago because she wanted to be close to one son and family and then the other son moved here too. So she's got both of them and four grandchildren to boot. So that's awesome. As you all know, she directs the Song of Seattle chorus and serves as Region 13's leadership specialist, development specialist. She also serves on, the, on an international task force of leadership development and certification and is on the IBOD, also known as the International Board of Directors. She was past president. That was such a point of pride for all of us in Region 13 that you represented us as well as the whole organization. And she currently serves as the judge specialist moderator and is a certified expression judge. She is my boss, big uh, boss. I love it. <laughs> hurting cats. <laughs> oh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. She's also the proud base of the Touchstone Quartet, who are still, I understand, rehearsing on occasion in the garage or someplace that's out of the weather. Every other week. That's awesome. That is fabulous. She also loves coaching and she does both coaching with quartets and choruses around the world, not just here in our own region. She taught choral activities both in middle school, which that takes, oh my gosh, talk about hurting cats. Oh my God, middle school and high school. So we're so glad that you decided to move to the great Pacific Northwest and share your vast talents with all of us. Thank you, Paula. Yay, Paula. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you're here. So Cherie, is it Cherie? Yes. This is the ever never ending question for me. And I ask you this probably every time we're together. Uh, she specializes, this beautiful woman specializes in giving 100% of everything. And she's done it from the very get go. She's a proud uh, veteran of the United States Air Force. How long were you in the Air Force? Just one, one term. Wow, that's, a, that's plenty. Yeah. I, I have no connection to the military, so I truly appreciate your service. She was energized from the very beginning of her membership. And she also, by the way, in case you didn't know that she sings in two choruses, Coeur d'Alene and Spirit of Spokane. And also be, in her spare time, she sings in Soul Sister Quartet, Soul Sisters Quartet. Cherie became a leader in many aspects of our sweet Adeline world almost overnight. I mean, she's been in for six years, guys. And she's already done so much stuff. Her energy and enthusiasm and imagination are unlimited and contagious. She has leadership skills and knowledge and experience that has become known around the region when she co-chaired the 
how does that sound? Idonska? Idagonska. Idagonska. Adaganska. I know what it is because I was there, and I know that you have great skills in this area. Adaganska Area School, and uh, was the host for that Zoom event. So yeah, she was. She is awesome. She's just a super Zoom person. Um, she's right now a general education and specialist in charge of SET for 2021. Yay! And that's all still being conjured up. So. <laughs> Good on you, and thank you for doing that from all of us. For any of those of us who have served in any of these capacities, we know what it takes to do that, and it's talk about herding cats. You said it, Paula. It's awesome. Um, and she's just been named the uh, marketing coordinator for the region. Yay! Yay! Okay. She's one of the first ones to lend her time and energy to anything that comes up. Uh, Paula Davis that uh, will be quoted here. Where did I lose it? Paula Davis puts it this way. Her energy and serving is only surpassed by her caring and love for her chorus sisters. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I love it. Whether it's in retreat planning, co-chairing a show, co-chairing at area school, volunteering for a committee, Cherie is always there to do whatever is needed. And in the process, she has a way of inspiring others to do the same. That's high praise, lady. On the international level, she's dedicated to helping out our, our organization, finding help for those who are hearing impaired so that their voices too can soar with great joy. It looks like a marvelous future lies ahead for you, Cherie. Honestly, congratulations on all your accomplishments so far in such a short period of time. You're putting us all to shame. <laughs> Thank you. Sandy Smith has been around for what is it going to be, 27 now? Yes. <laughs> She's a 27-year member of the organization, and she started out with Lincoln Air, and, and Karen Koch was your director, I take it? You went to international co competition four times with Lincoln Air Chorus. I remember it well. <laughs> uh, Region 7, for those of you who don't know. Uh, let's see. Then she moved to Helena in, according to this note, 2010, and she joined what was then called, and I'd forgotten about this, Acapella Jubilee Express. That's Sharon, right. if I could see you, you're so far removed from the camera. You're way back there. I have to get out my... I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's usually one of the first people to volunteer when any kind of a project comes up. In her words, I just want to be involved. And boy, is she ever involved. She's been involved since I've known her from the very get-go. And I have known you for quite a while now. Yes. Because I used to come out and coach a course a lot. And I'm, I think we have another date. I hope it's going to be in person, but we never know. In this year of COVID-19, her expertise in technology has made her a Zoom guru. There you go. Another one. Cherie, Sandy, both Zoom gurus, both, both for her course and for our region. She sets up the meetings, she hosts them, she records them when she's asked. She helps people solve problems along the way when you're using Zoom. I may call you up sometime and get you a special training. Without her, this year would have been so much worse. She's kept us connected through this year and not, and not being together. And that's an absolute truth. And we can't thank you enough, Sandy. You've been a key, key player in all the stuff that we've been able to accomplish in Region 13 this year and beyond. All right. Are you ready for the big announcement? I, I was just going to, you didn't give me a chance to say drum roll, please. <laughs> drum roll, please. Thank you, Nancy. Without further ado, the recipient for this year's award is Judy Beckman. Yay! Congratulations, Judy. Well deserved. Oh my gosh. I'm blown away. It's awesome. <laughs> so happy for you. That's awesome. It is quite an honor, isn't it? And it's an honor to be nominated and then especially alongside these three other people. Well, um, I, I have not had the pleasure of getting to know Cherie and Sandy. Well, I know who they are, but right. Paula, I have just deeply admired since the moment I met her. <laughs> when it was She's 20. deeply admirable, that's for sure. Yes, yes. Thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm just... 
the same is true of you too. Of a lot of loss, so I'm just very grateful. Welcome North by Northwest Region 13 members. Thank you for joining us for the 2021 Region Convention Weekend. I am Patty Martin, Region 13's Director's Coordinator. Before I get started, please join me in applauding our Region Directors. This has been a difficult time for all of us, but especially our Directors, who have not been able to direct and hear the outcome. During this past year, we had one new director to our region. Please welcome Kim Kraut, Olympia Chorus. Kim has directed Olympia virtually for one year. Before that, Kim directed River Song Chorus for nine years and co-directed Kansas City Chorus for four years. Kim came from a musical family and joined Sweet Adelines in 1977 with her mom. Kim has sung in three champion quartets and two champion choruses. Welcome, Kim. The following directors new to the region prior to last year's virtual contest have been directing a chorus, but have not directed on stage for a Region 13 competition. Julie Hagstrom and Megan Hofkamp, Pacific Sound Chorus. Melanie McGuire, Northwest Harmony Chorus for one year. Mel has been a Sweet Adeline for 28 years. She has directed two men's choruses, Seattle Sea Chordsman for two years and the Puget Sounders for nine years. Mel provided a quote indicating she's done a lot of stuff. Chuck Rogers, a cappella sensation chorus, one year. Chuck is a retired U.S. Navy bandmaster. He was born and raised in South Dakota and attended University of South Dakota before running away with a circus. Drew Osterhout, Pride of Portland, a year and a half. Drew is a 16-year barbershopper, physics teacher, coach, voice nerd, and cord addict. Drew moved to Portland from St. Louis in 2019. He stated he is fascinated with dis demystifying the voice and helping people grow as singers and performers through understanding their instrument. I would like to thank all the new directors to North by Northwest Region 13. Now I will announce Region 13 Sweet Adeline Director Longevity. The following directors have directed between one and five years. Kim Kraut, Olympia, one year. Mel McGuire, Northwest Harmony, one year. Chuck Rogers, Acapella Sensation, 15 months. Drew Osterhout, Pride of Portland, a year and a half. Rachel Pack, Jet Cities, two and a half years. Elizabeth Davies, Sound Harmony, three years. Connie Allward, Grand Olympics, four years. And Paula Davis, Song of Seattle, five years. The following directors have directed between five and 10 years. Gail Miller, Fairbanks Frontier, 10 years. The following directors have directed between 10 and 20 years. Judy Beckman, Harmony of the Gorge, 12 years. Sandy Cahill, Cascade Harmony, 15 years. Lucy Hinkle, Rolling Hills, 16 years. Nikki Blackmare, Acapella Joy, 18 years. Jerry Baroque, Capital City Sound, 19 years. Cheryl Isaacs, Harmony Northwest, 20 years. The following directors have directed between 20 and 30 years. Peggy Benton, Alaska Sound Celebration, 23 years. Mike Elliott, 
Spirit of Spokane, 27 years. The following director has directed more than 30 years. Candy Johnson, Five Valley Chorus, 38 years. Thank you to Region 13 directors. We appreciate you all. At this time, we recognize our members who are celebrating five years as a Sweet Adeline. Let's welcome our members celebrating 10 years in our organization. Now we celebrate our Region 13 members who are celebrating 15 years. We want to acknowledge our members celebrating 20 years as a Sweet Adeline. Now it is time to celebrate our 25-year members.
Let's now celebrate our Region 13 30-year members. It is time to recognize our members celebrating 35 years as a Sweet Adeline. Now let's recognize our Region 13 members celebrating 40 years. Now we celebrate our members with 45 years. This year, Region 13 has six members celebrating 50 years as a Sweet Adeline. They are Gail Dahl, Alice Devine, Marge Ingram, Marge Mitz, Gail Shelton, and Evelyn Weiss. Congratulations to these ladies on their awesome achievement. Let's give a special recognition to four of our members celebrating 55 years. A special recognition to our member celebrating 60 years as a Sweet Adeline. A very special recognition to our member celebrating 65 years as a Sweet Adeline. That is really a wonderful accomplishment. Congratulations. And now let's take a moment to remember our sisters in song, Vicalyn Gruber, Adeline Farrer, Sandy Greenleaf, Lois Lamphere, and Sandy Sussville. The regional management team could not do the work that they do for our members without our wonderful resource staff. Please join us in thanking them for all of the hard work this past year. Hello, my name is Sally Ryerson and I'm the team coordinator for the regional management team. This has been quite a year for all of us, hasn't it? I'm really proud of how our regional management team members have stepped up to find new ways to function in what has become almost a total virtual world. I'd like to introduce you to them and tell you briefly some of their accomplishments during the past year. Jody Allen is our events coordinator. She and her team put together a fun virtual convention in 2020 on short notice, I might add, and they're doing it again right now. They're also planning for a real live convention in 2022, and I know none of us can wait for that. Patty Martin is our director's coordinator. Patty has brought together directors in monthly meetings and also coordinated two excellent educational presentations for directors. Patty also oversees a director certification program. Rhonda Gould is our finance coordinator. Rhonda has taken on the diversity, education, and inclusion activities for the region and has held three virtual town halls for all members. She also keeps a surprise of the financial status of the region, which I'm happy to say is very good. Communications is in the capable hands of Sandy Smith. 
She and her team responded to comments from members regarding communication and stepped up the number of e-blasts and the amount of information each one provides. She also coordinates Zoom, Facebook Live, and manages the regional website. Sharon Stockstad is our membership coordinator. She oversees the Longevity Awards, the Heart of the Northwest Award, and maintains regular contact with team leaders and membership coordinators to keep them apprised of membership situations and issues, and also connects them with specialists who can help maintain and grow membership. Our education coordinator is Shelly Pardis. She and her team have been really busy. They gave us 23 North by Northwest sessions from spring through summer. Remember those on Saturday mornings? And also six music in the morning sessions, two virtual area schools, and right now they're working on a live set to happen later this year, a section leader training, and lots more. So stay tuned. Beth Ann Bach, our marketing coordinator, brought chorus marketing coordinators together in monthly meetings where she offered a variety of presentations from specialists and from both men's and women's barbershop groups on how to better share the word about our choruses. She also handles the regional's marketing needs. Cherie Letts will be taking over for Beth Ann in May. Cherie is an active member of Spirit of Spokane Chorus and Coeur d'Alene Chorus, and she's also coordinating the set that will happen later this year. I know she'll be an outstanding member of our team. At me, my role is to oversee nominations, uh, the review and approval of standing rules, and to plan and facilitate meetings of the RMT. But mostly, I get to delight in working with a talented and professional group of women and the core of dedicated volunteers who serve on our resource staff. I hope that each of you will consider finding a way that you can serve the region. There are many tasks and jobs available. They are usually listed on the membership page of our regional website. And there is a variety of needs, time commitments, skill levels. So please check that out. And now I hope to put a face with all those names I just talked about. So please enjoy the next segment. As always, we want to recognize the Region 13 Convention Team. For 2021, Dina Wolf, Competition Chair. Denise Thompson, Facility Event Specialist. Arlene Blackmer, Official Panel Liaison. Sandy Smith, Communications Coordinator. And Jody Allen, Chair of the Regional Convention. 